After what has been a busy 2022 so far for Honda Philippines, the company started out the last quarter of the year swinging with the launch of the new ATV 160. This is the newest iteration of what is arguably one of Honda Philippines' most popular models. The scooter lands sporting a new design, a few tech upgrades here and there, and most important, a new and improved engine. We know a lot of you are eager to learn more about this new two-wheeler, so without further ado, here's everything you need to know about it. Unlike the PCX160 which has ABS and CBS variants, only one version of the ADV160 is available. This lone ABS option is priced at 164900 Colorways in the lineup are namely. Matte Gunpowder Black Metallic, Matte Pearl Crate Metallic, and Matte Solar Red Metallic. Similar to what it's done with the Click 160 and the Airblade 160, Honda has retained the general design of the ADV with this new model. While there are new color finishes to go along with the new bronze wheels, the overall color pattern has remained the same. What's new in terms of looks is are the front fairings. You might not notice it at first glance, but the fairings flanking the V-shaped headlight are now wider and bulkier than before, giving the ADV 160 a slightly more muscular look than its predecessor. It's all the same underneath, as this new bike still sits on 14-inch front and 13-inch rear wheels. You'll see more significant changes in terms of dimensions. The ADV 160 measures 1,950 mm long, 763 mm wide, and 1,196 mm tall. It weighs 133 kg and has 165 mm of ground clearance. Seat height is down by a bit from 795 mm to 780 mm, or from 31.2 to 30.7 inches a small drop, but that's a big deal for not-so-tall riders eyeing the scoot. This part is easily the biggest highlight of this new model. The Honda ATV 160 is powered by a 157 cubic centimeter liquid-cooled four-valve single-cylinder engine capable of 15.8 horsepower at 8,500 rpm and 14.7 Nm of torque at 6,500 rpm. The ADV 160 suspension setup is comprised of a telescopic four-cup front and twin shock absorbers with sub-tanks at the back. Front and rear hydraulic discs are available, but the discs now sport wavy edges, instead of the usual round shape. The new ADV 160 now gets Honda selectable torque control, which is also available in the PCX 160. This new scoot also boasts an updated instrument cluster, wherein all the displays are integrated. The second display panel previously found in the ADV 150 has been removed, and a control lever for the head unit has been installed in its place. This panel displays the battery voltage, fuel gauge, fuel consumption, multiple trip meters, speedometer, and a newly added RPM gauge. Like its predecessor, the ADV160 also still boasts single-channel ABS. An idling stop-start system and the Honda Smart Key system are also still available, but there are new look buttons for the former, and a new look key fob for the latter. The front windshield is now also longer than before, and sports a reworked design with an air vent in the middle. Other minor but helpful changes include the new USB-A charging port in the front glove compartment, as well as a gas cap holder.